Righto, Taliota champs, and yes, indeed, Christmas has come early for me because look at this ensemble of laptops here. Killer laptops. We're talking RTX 3060, RTX 3070, and at the back there, the Zephyrus, that is actually an RTX 2080. So you might be asking, why is there an RTX 2080 there? And that's because I want to answer the question or give you an idea, should you buy last generation RTX 2080 on a discount because you can get them on a deal at the moment or should you buy an RTX 3070 laptop? If we're talking about the same sort of power, the same sort of 95 watts, same sort of power on the CPU and just, just give you an idea of you know where these 3000 series laptops sit compared to the last generation so you can make an informed decision about you know purchasing one of these laptops so we'll start off at the front in the middle is the Aero 15 RTX 3070 10th generation 10870 it doesn't matter about the CPU they're all Intel 10th generation CPUs on the left we have the GE 76 which is a 17 inch laptop that has an RTX 3060. So another question I'll be able to answer is, is an RTX 3060 130 watt faster than an RTX 3070 95 watts? That's definitely something I wanted to know. On the right hand side, we have the GE 66 and that looks cool. I mean, have a look at those MSI laptops, the, you know, the bar strip, the bar RGB light sort of thing on the bottom of them. That looks cool. That has an RTX 3070 as well. And at the back, we have that, you know, 17-inch Zephyrus, which is last gen, but it has an RTX 2080, and that's 95 watts. Same with the Aero's 95 watts. It's hard to tell with dynamic boost these days, but let's just say 95 watts. Now, unfortunately, I can't share any data on these MSIs because they are engineering samples. But I'll sneak in something here. That laptop on the left, the GE76, that has a 130 watt RTX 3060. It is not faster than a 95 watt RTX 3070. Okay, so if you're thinking that, unfortunately not. That extra 35 watts isn't giving it any extra power. It is still slower than the RTX 3070 at 95 watts. And another thing about the 3060 is, is it faster than the 2070? Yes, it is. Not that much faster than 2070, but it is. Well, at least this one is. This 130 watt on the GE76, it is faster than a 2070 sort of Max-Q. So that's that answered. I think that's the best thing I can share out of those MSIs. I will have a separate video on those MSI laptops, so stay tuned for that. So what about an RTX 2080 versus an RTX 3070? Which one are you better off getting? So first of all, I made a short not long ago, and you'll see in that short, basically I said the best thing about the RTX 30 series laptops is, yes, it is HDMI 2.1, right? So with any of the 30 series RTX laptops, you're gonna get HDMI 2.1, and I probably wouldn't wanna go lower than the 3070, but you can play 4K HDR 120Hz G-Sync, and that's what I was doing on that LG TV. Just amazing, right? To me, that is the biggest deal of the 30 series laptops. You know, being able to play Flight Simulator or F1 or something like that, 4K HDR G-Sync 120Hz is just wolf. That is the only way to fly. Also with the 30 series laptops, I've done quite a bit of testing between those two. And yeah, nah, it's truth. Because um, there were things that I was not expecting comparing an RTX 3070 compared to an RTX 2080. Well, at least the sort of 95 watt variants. I will say on that Zephyrus with the RTX 2080, I was playing in Optimus mode. So it even gets better if you turn off Optimus with that RTX 2080. But that's sort of like 95 watts versus 95 watts around that sort of power output. But oh my God, that MSI 66 with 130 watt. It's an engineering sample. We don't know what the wattage is. It's around that sort of mark. That thing friggin flies so there's a big difference when you pump more juice into these rtx 3070s the performance is like it's nearly 20 fps faster just with that extra you know 30 35 watts and that's at sort of 1440p so if you have a look here which one of these cyberpunks is the rtx 2080 which one is the rtx 2070 just sort of guess there you wouldn't be really able to tell both 4K, both same settings, ray tracing on DLSS. It's actually cool that we can actually play at 4K on both of them. But really, can you tell the difference there? I was not expecting this. I thought the RTX 3070 would be much superior at high resolution plus ray tracing, but that was not the case. Throw a blanket over them because really the experience was pretty much the same there. 
Now, of course, you pump more juice into that RTX 3070, and I expect it's going to be a lot better. But again, so would the RTX 2080, I guess, as well. And another thing I wasn't expecting playing Flight Simulator at 4K, you know, ultra settings. I was not expecting the RTX 2080 to sort of keep up with 3070. Because, just because we know these 3000 series are better at higher resolutions. But again, I think it's hamstrung quite a lot by the power. I expect if you increase the power on both of them, the performance of the RTX 3070 is going to get exponentially better. But here we are in flight sim. Which one's which again? Can you really tell? I can't tell. All I can tell is Melbourne. Yes, this is Melbourne. Melbourne's famous big erection. We have to go and see Melbourne's famous big erection. Imagine living next door to that. That is real. That building is real. You can be lucky and live next door to that big erection there. So, so again, really, there's stuff all different. I mean, in this case, just go for an RTX 2080. It's going to be cheap. You're going to get a better deal. Pretty much the same performance as an RTX 3070. And in the case of these two laptops, the Aero 15 and the Zephyrus 95 watt GPUs, the 2080 was actually faster in normal rasterized gaming. So that's not 4K. That's 1440 or below. No ray tracing. It was actually faster than the RTX 3070 and you know sometimes it was neck and neck sometimes 3070 would win but mostly that RTX 2080 would win and it would be like a few frames per second faster. So to answer the question should you get an RTX 2070 versus 2080 I would go the RTX 2080 on a deal unless you're going to be using the HDMI 2.1. That is real G-Sync 120Hz it is good. That being said, I'm talking 95 waters here. That MSI GE66, uh, just stay tuned. We'll have a look at those in another video. But man, it's a different story, right? I would definitely be going with the RTX 2070 if you're going to be getting like a 130 watt plus sort of gaming machine there because the performance is much better once you pump some juice into those. I think with these RTX 30 series, if you're going to get the 95 watts systems, I think these things need power. To really you know get that big advantage over the last generation so anyway i hope you got something out of this stay tuned for my look at these msi laptops i'd like to thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one tally ho